Hey everybody, this is the My RC Life YouTube channel with Casey Chaos and Traxxas Mike, where we do all things RC, planes, drones, boats, trucks, crawlers, and everything in between. Let's go! What's going on everybody? Trax is Mike from My RC Life and today I'm going to do a little favor for one of my friends. Alright, as a sport friend of mine, he'd give you the shirt off his back if you needed it. And I recently put together a real nice Techno MT410 for him. Um, and he wants to be able to haul it in a cart um, so he don't have to carry it everywhere. Uh, you know, he's got some back issues, and he don't want to have to carry his controller, and his truck, and maybe a few parts, and crap, and, you know, just, uh, head on out to go bash on his vehicle. So, he, uh, ordered this, uh, cart, but the handle wasn't long enough, and he was really concerned about the handle, and all this stuff, and I said, you know what? Send the handle to me let me take care of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this handle. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, simply unbox it and uh, see what size the metal is because first thing we got to do is get some extra metal. All right. Okay. So it's square stock. And we're getting one inch, 400 exactly, pretty much, 399, 400, and I'm saying an inch, 400. So, what I'm thinking is, a, is we get some square tubing that the inner diameter is a little bit bigger than an inch, 400, probably like an inch and a half, I'm thinking. And, uh... We put that, we cut this in half. We add the length he wants and uh, then weld it around on the edges and call her good. So next thing we gotta do is find some steel. All right, well I didn't have any of the correct material at my house. So I'm heading over to my brother-in-law's house and we're going to see what he's got to take care of this handle for us. And since we're already going over here, I'm just going to do the whole project over here. Um, his garage will be heated. I don't got to be cutting this thing up and welding it in my cold garage, which I planned on doing. I'm going to go ahead and do it in his heated garage. Look at that big old snow drift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are, Cubit's Custom Precision. All right, so we got uh, our metal picked out. We got roughly about 10 inches of square stock here. We're gonna cut this in half on the chop saw clean it up and everything, put it in there, and weld her up. Safety first. going on. Alright, we got a little wire wheel on a 4 inch grinder here. We're just going to clean this up all the way around so we can get a good weld surface and get her painted.
pretty good. Now we change up to the flapper wheel. We're just going to burr our edges. To burr up our edges on these two pieces as well and get a little bit of the paint off as well. On the inside, we got a little bit of burr there. I'm just gonna hand file her. Okay, does she slide in each end? Oh yeah, like butter. How about this end? Oh yeah, like butter. All right, we need her about 10 inches. We're about it. We're gonna go with about nine, just cause it's what we got, you know? Gonna grab this knife here. We're just gonna lay a small little scribe so we know about how deep we need to be there. Actually, if we go about there, we can maybe get about nine and a half inches. Is that plenty deep enough, Chrissy? I would think so. About that on that side? So we're about there, and about there, and that gives us about nine and a half inches. All right, we're letting Chris take over here. He's just getting everything set up, getting it level, doing what he's gotta do to get some good welds going on here. Off to the welder. Okay. What Chris is doing here is just tacking in all the corners. He does this to ensure nothing warps. And then he's gonna go in and burn all the welds in from tack to tack, all the way around. On all four sides. All right, it looks like she's done, huh, Chrissy? I think so. Chris will work. Yep. <laughs> Good enough to tow a wagon. Now he's just cleaning up all the slag off the welds. So when I go to paint it here, it uh, looks all nice and pretty again. all cleaned up all I'm gonna do is add some paint and uh, she'll be all ready to go all right it's all pretty now I'm just gonna bring her home and paint her up a little bit and uh, that'll be the last step all right I'm in the basement now we got this uh, silver metal or aluminum it's called uh, this is kind of like a lighter gray and we just need to paint this uh, piece of bare steel in here and then on um, each end where we welded and ground, just so it don't rust. 
Now it's not going to be an exact match, but it's going to be totally fine. It's just going to be for the wagon, for my good buddy. He's going to be totally fine with a little bit of mismatching paint. I'll take that plastic handle off. Take this plastic insert off the end. I'm going to grab onto this end with a pair of vice grips. So as I'm painting it, I don't have to touch the wet paint, you know. I can just hold these vice grips. for what we're doing. Finished product there, guys. Well, that's it for today. I'm Traxxas Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.